Lego is rebooting the Harry Potter theme. What does that mean for us fans of Lego? Is it good or bad? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. The Hogwarts expansion system, which we've been building over the last few years, has finally come to an end. And we're going to get a new Hogwarts expansion system starting next year. The first two Hogwarts expansion sets are going to be the Hogwarts Alley and also the Hogwarts Boathouse. And the first hint this was a new Hogwarts expansion series was the fact these had grey roofs when the previous Hogwarts expansion system, the one which just ended, had green roofs. You'll also notice we don't have Technic pinholes to connect these sets to the previous Hogwarts expansion sets, which every single Hogwarts expansion set previous to these two had those Technic pinholes in order to make them modular and put them all together but these two sets don't have that. Instead we have some clips on the back of the boathouse which suggest that the Hogwarts boathouse is meant to connect to something else. Something else which will be coming out next summer. However even with these signs people still weren't convinced this was the start of a new Hogwarts expansion system until Lego put something out on their website. When Lego officially revealed these sets on lego.com for the Owlery and also the boathouse in the description says this. This set is the first in an upcoming series of modular sets sold separately that connect to create the most detailed Lego brick built Hogwarts castle scene ever. On Saturday the 9th of December I'm going to be giving away all of these Lego High Potter sets and all you've got to do to take part is to turn up on my next live stream. That's it. My next live stream will be taking place on Whatnot, which if you haven't heard of it, it's basically like eBay and Twitch combined. It's a live auction site where you can bid on things in real time while interacting with others in the live chat. So what am I going to be auctioning? I'm going to be auctioning off over 250 Lego High Potter minifigures, as well as some rare classic Lego High Potter sets as well. And the best part is, everything is going to be starting off at just one dollar. Now you don't have to buy anything to take part in the giveaway, don't worry about that, but if you are interested in getting some Lego Harry Potter sets and minifigures for a great deal, then make sure to sign up to Whatnot using my special link, which instantly gives you $15 or £10 free credit to use in my live stream. That way you can bag yourself some free Lego Harry Potter minifigures, it's a no-brainer. So make sure to sign up using my special link to get your free money, and I'll see you on Saturday the 9th of December at 7pm UK time. So that's pretty much confirmation that we have have a new Hogwarts castle expansion system. This would also be the third Lego High Potter Hogwarts expansion system since the relaunch in 2018. We had a Hogwarts expansion between 2018 and 2020. Then in 2021, the 20th anniversary of Lego High Potter, they started with a new expansion system with green roofs, which lasted all the way until now, 2024. And in 2024, they're going to start with a third Hogwarts expansion system. I think this has been a long time coming for a lot of people because the first Hogwarts expansion system lasted three years between 2018 and 2020. Then 2021 to 2023 is also three years. And here we are the end of the current LEGO High Potter Hogwarts expansion system. And in fact, LEGO recently gave us a blueprint of the final LEGO High Potter Hogwarts castle of these most recent expansion sets put all together, so it doesn't surprise me at all. So what does this mean for the future of LEGO High Potter? Well, we're going to get more LEGO High Potter Hogwarts expansion sets in this new style with the grey roofs, which I'm not totally opposed to, but I'm not quite convinced on the longevity of this current series, because there's going to be a HBO Max series starting somewhere around 2025, maybe 2026, which will be the ending of this new current Lego High Potter Hogwarts Castle expansion system. Because when a new HBO Max series starts with new locations, new characters, there's going to be no returning cast members, so all the minifigures are going to be different. That's again going to be another relaunch of the Lego High Potter theme. So are people going to be heavily invested in this new one that's just starting when they know in 2025, 2026 there's going to be another relaunch? I'm not quite sure. I think for a lot of people now is a good time to take a break from LEGO High Potter, especially if you've completed your previous LEGO High Potter Hogwarts cast or do you really need another one? I think now is a good time to save some money over the next two or three years until the HBO Max series starts and you can get back into LEGO High Potter with those new amazing sets. However, there is another option for people. For those people who already have a Hogwarts castle and aren't quite interested in getting another one, well, LEGO just started a Diagon Alley expansion system this year with Weasley's Wizard Weezers, and rumour has it there's going to be another Diagon Alley shop next summer. So if they're going to release two or three Diagon Alley shops a year, 
and you buy all these diagon alley shops and you can put them all together to have a big play scale diagon alley that could be something an avenue people can go down and skip the hogwarts castle expansion system or if people just really love lego high point they can go ahead and get another hogwarts castle as well as getting all these diagon alley sets as well for me personally i'm a little bit more interested in the diagon alley but i'll still end up getting all the sets no doubt i just really hope with diagon alley we get some new stuff like the leaky cauldron which we've never got before and stuff like that so what do you guys think? Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you're going to buy all these new Lego Hype on Hogwarts Castle sets. There's meant to be some really good Hogwarts Castle expansions coming next year, which I can't talk about just yet, but it does sound very exciting. Or are you guys more interested in the Diagon Alley expansion system? Or are you going to take a break for a couple of years until the HBO Max series starts and then get back into Lego Hype on then with all these new sets and characters? Let me know. I've been Top of Bricks. I'll catch you tomorrow for another Lego Hype on video. I'll see you there.